Kirk Franklin, the legendary gospel artist and music producer, is taking fans on an emotional journey as he opens up about a life-changing discovery, meeting his biological father for the very first time at the age of 53. In a deeply personal Father's Day documentary, Franklin bears his soul, sharing the extraordinary and unexpected events that led to this pivotal moment in his life. His willingness to let fans in on such an intimate chapter reflects not only his courage, but also his commitment to transparency and healing. The journey began in April 2023, during a family funeral that Kirk Franklin himself did not attend. Amid the somber gathering, whispers started to circulate about a man in attendance named Richard Hubbard. The buzz wasn't just about his presence, but about his past connection to Kirk's biological mother. Richard Hubbard, it turned out, had once dated her, a revelation that set off a chain reaction of curiosity and speculation among those present. As the rumors gained traction, a bold possibility began to emerge. Could Richard Hubbard be Kirk Franklin's long-lost biological father? This question lingered in the minds of family members. And as the story reached Kirk, it became clear that this was a moment he couldn't ignore. Encouraged by the possibility of finding answers to questions he had carried for decades, Kirk and Richard decided to move forward with a DNA test to uncover the truth. The decision to take the test was monumental for Kirk who had lived his entire life without knowing the man responsible for his existence. While he had risen to fame as one of gospel music's most celebrated figures, with a career spanning decades and countless accolades, there was always a part of him that felt incomplete. Meeting Richard, if the DNA test confirmed their connection, would not only fill a gap in Kirk's personal narrative, but also mark the beginning of an emotional journey toward understanding, closure, and possibly reconciliation. As Kirk delves into this transformative experience in his Father's Day documentary, he doesn't shy away from the complexities of the situation. For him, this is more than just a story about discovering a biological parent. It's about facing the uncertainties, navigating the emotional terrain, and reckoning with the past in a way that only someone with his depth of faith and introspection can do. This journey is not only deeply personal, but also resonates with countless others who may have faced similar struggles with family, identity, and belonging. By sharing this experience, Kirk Franklin is opening the door for a broader conversation about the importance of family, forgiveness, and healing, even when it comes later in life. Kirk Franklin has always been candid about his journey as an adopted child, a vulnerability that has drawn countless fans closer to him over the years. Throughout his life, he's encountered numerous claims from people insisting they were his biological father, a recurring experience that often led to disappointment. However, this time was different. Something about the situation felt more tangible, more real. Franklin reflected on the uniqueness of this moment, saying, it wasn't new to me. What was new to me is how close it was to somebody I knew. This revelation set the stage for what would become one of the most significant turning points in his life. After the initial rumors surfaced at the family funeral, Franklin and Richard Hubbard, the man rumored to be his father, decided to take a DNA test to confirm the truth. The results, they were indeed related. For Kirk, the news was staggering. Not only had he finally discovered his biological father after 53 years, but he was also struck by how intertwined their lives had unknowingly been. This man lives down the street from my recording studio, Kirk marveled while reflecting on the uncanny closeness he lives in the same city that I work in. His house is adjacent to a house that my youngest son would go play at when he was in high school. The proximity made the discovery all the more surreal, leaving Kirk in awe of how their paths had nearly crossed so many times without either of them knowing. The moment Kirk and Richard met was filled with raw emotion. As the reality of their connection sank in, Richard became visibly emotional, overwhelmed by the weight of what he had just learned. In an effort to comfort him, Kirk gently reassured Richard, saying, It's not your fault. You didn't know. This simple yet profound statement underscored the shared innocence of their circumstances. Neither had been aware of the other's existence. Kirk later shared his own perspective in a confessional, revealing the depth of their shared discovery. He didn't even know. He didn't even know he had a son, and I didn't even know I have a father. These words highlighted the emotional gravity of the moment, a culmination of decades of unanswered questions and unspoken pain. Following his meeting with Richard, Kirk decided it was time to reconnect with his biological mother, Deborah Jones, whom he hadn't seen in 23 years. This meeting added another layer of complexity to the journey. When Kirk shared the paternity test results with her, 
Deborah rejected them outright, insisting that Richard Hubbard could not be his father. Her denial introduced a wave of uncertainty, but Kirk, determined to find the truth, pursued a second DNA test. The second test reconfirmed the initial results. Richard Hubbard was indeed Kirk Franklin's biological father. For Kirk, the reconfirmation brought clarity and solidified a truth that had taken over half a century to uncover. Yet, it also revealed the emotional layers of his mother's reaction, a poignant reminder of the complexities of family relationships and the pain that often accompanies unresolved histories. In a candid interview with People, Kirk Franklin reflected on the life-changing discovery of his biological father, Richard Hubbard, and the emotional journey that has come with it. Describing Hubbard as a great guy, Franklin expressed both gratitude and amazement at the unexpected bond they are now forming. However, this revelation has impacted more than just Kirk and his father. It has also introduced him to a newfound sibling, Hubbard's daughter, marking another profound and deeply personal chapter in Franklin's unfolding story. For Kirk, learning about his biological father was a transformative experience, but discovering he had a sister was an equally surprising and emotional twist. This newfound relationship has added another layer of complexity to an already extraordinary journey. She's been honest about how hard this is for her as well, Kirk shared, acknowledging the emotional weight his sister is carrying. Learning not only does she have a brother, but that that brother is Kirk Franklin. The revelation of having a famous sibling has been overwhelming for Hubbard's daughter, as she navigates what it means to suddenly share a familial connection with someone as prominent and celebrated as Kirk Franklin. The emotional adjustment is significant, not just because of Kirk's fame, but also because of the layers of history and family dynamics this discovery unravels. Her honesty about her struggles in processing this new reality reflects the human side of a story often overshadowed by public fascination. For both Kirk and his newfound sister, this relationship is uncharted territory. While Kirk has spent decades in the spotlight, known for his music and ministry, his sister has lived a life outside the public eye. Their worlds, though connected by blood, are vastly different, creating a unique challenge as they attempt to build a bond. Kirk, deeply empathetic, recognizes the emotional toll this revelation has taken on his sister. He is committed to fostering a relationship that honors her feelings and allows her the space to adjust. For him, the process is about more than shared biology. It's about understanding, patience, and creating a foundation for a meaningful connection. The situation underscores the complexity of family reunions, especially when they happen later in life and under such public scrutiny. Kirk Franklin's story isn't just about a celebrated artist discovering his father. It's also about the ripple effects of that discovery on everyone involved. For Hubbard's daughter, this means reevaluating her identity and her place within an extended family she never knew existed. For Kirk, it's about expanding his understanding of what family means and navigating relationships that are as tender as they are transformative. Despite the challenges, Kirk is optimistic about building a bond with his sister. He recognizes that this journey requires grace and open-heartedness, not just from him, but from everyone involved. As a man of faith, he leans on his belief in God's timing and purpose, trusting that this reunion, though unexpected, is part of a larger plan. The discovery of his sister is not just a footnote in Kirk Franklin's remarkable story. It's a significant part of his healing and growth. Their shared connection to Richard Hubbard, combined with their individual experiences, creates a bridge that they are both cautiously and courageously learning to cross. In a profoundly moving chapter of his life, Kirk Franklin took another step toward healing and reconciliation by reuniting with his firstborn son, Carrion Franklin. This emotional moment was captured in Kirk's documentary, which not only chronicled his journey to find his biological father, but also highlighted the restoration of his strained relationship with Carrion. Their reunion, layered with years of pain and misunderstanding, was as heartfelt as it was significant. A painful past. Kirk and Carrion's public falling out. The father-son relationship between Kirk and Carrion Franklin had been under strain for years, culminating in a public falling out in March 2021. Carrion released a private recording of Kirk in a heated exchange, where the gospel artist's frustration boiled over into an angry tirade. The leaked recording went viral, sparking a media frenzy and public debate about parenting, family conflicts, and forgiveness. The fallout left Kirk deeply shaken. In a 2023 interview with Page Six, he candidly admitted, it traumatizes me to this day. For Kirk, the incident was more than just a moment of anger. 
It was a painful reflection of the cracks in their relationship and the emotional distance that had grown between them over the years. In July 2023, amidst his emotional paternity journey, Kirk decided it was time to address the rift with Carrion. The timing, while coincidental, felt divinely orchestrated. Kirk reached out to Carrion with the intention of mending their relationship and sharing the news about finding his biological father. Their meeting marked a turning point for both father and son, creating a space for vulnerability, honesty, and healing. As Kirk revealed the life-changing news about Richard Hubbard being his biological father, Carrion was visibly moved. Tears welled up as he processed the revelation, leading to an emotional moment between the two. For a relationship that had been marked by conflict and estrangement, this heartfelt exchange signified the beginning of a new chapter, a chapter built on understanding, forgiveness, and the willingness to move forward together. During an interview with People, Kirk opened up about the reconciliation, expressing pride and admiration for Carrion's growth and resilience. My son is a beautiful soul, Kirk said, speaking with a mixture of love and hope. He acknowledged that Carrion's life had been shaped by battles and struggles, some of which were deeply personal and not for Kirk to share. There are parts of his life that are his to share, he noted, respecting Carrion's autonomy and journey. Kirk also recognized the toll these struggles had taken on Carrion, adding, I am just very proud that I'm seeing him in his own way. He is beginning to reveal and testify to his struggles, his own battles with certain things that have at times cost him. His words reflected not only his pride in Carrion's journey, but also his deep desire to support him moving forward. In an unexpected twist, Kirk also revealed that Carrion now has a new familial connection, his biological grandfather, Richard Hubbard. This revelation added a new layer of depth to Carrion's own journey of understanding and healing. Kirk emphasized that both he and Richard would be there to support Carrion in any way possible, signaling the start of a multi-generational bond forged through reconciliation and love. For Kirk and Carrion, this reunion is more than just a personal milestone. It's a testament to the power of forgiveness and the strength of family. Their relationship, once marred by tension and public controversy, is now on a path toward healing. Kirk's willingness to confront the pain of the past and Carrion's openness to reconciliation demonstrate a shared commitment to rebuilding their bond. The emotional reunion between Kirk and Carrion serves as a poignant reminder that healing is a process. It requires patience, vulnerability, and a willingness to confront difficult truths. For Kirk, this journey has been one of self-reflection and growth as he continues to navigate the complexities of fatherhood, faith, and family. In a moment of deep introspection, Kirk Franklin opened up about the complexities of his parenting journey, shedding light on how his own painful past has shaped the way he approached fatherhood. Reflecting on his choices, Kirk revealed a profound truth that resonates with many parents. I have fathered out of fear the majority of my parenting life. These words encapsulate the weight of Kirk's experiences as a child and how they influenced his determination to shield his own children from the pain he once endured. Growing up feeling abandoned and navigating life without a clear understanding of his biological father's identity left an indelible mark on Kirk. As he stepped into the role of a father, he carried with him a fierce resolve to ensure his children would never feel the kind of hurt that haunted him. Kirk candidly shared how this fear-driven approach to parenting manifested in his life. Because of what I experienced, he explained, I was like, I'll be damned if I let my kids feel that type of pain. Determined to protect his children at all costs, Kirk often found himself overcompensating. He admitted to going above and beyond, sometimes to the point of excess, in his efforts to shield them from hardship. A lot of times I overparented and overperformed, Kirk said with a mix of regret and self-awareness. I bought too many bicycles, ran off too many boyfriends, just wanting to protect. These actions, while rooted in love and a desire to provide a better life for his children, also highlight the delicate balance parents must navigate between protection and empowerment. Kirk's overzealous efforts were his way of saying, I love you, but they also underscored the challenges of parenting from a place of fear rather than trust. Despite his early missteps, Kirk's journey as a father has been one of growth and self-discovery. Through the years, he has come to recognize that his parenting style, while well-intentioned, required adjustment. The same determination that drove him to shield his children has also motivated him to become a better, more understanding parent. Kirk reflected on the invaluable lessons his children have taught him, saying, I had to learn. My children have been the best part of my life. 
This heartfelt acknowledgement speaks to the transformative power of fatherhood and the way it has shaped Kirk's identity. His children, in many ways, have been his greatest teachers, helping him confront his fears, reevaluate his methods, and grow into a more intentional and present parent. Kirk's parenting story is not just one of fear or overcompensation. It's also a story of redemption and connection. As a man who grew up feeling the sting of abandonment, Kirk has worked tirelessly to rewrite the narrative for his own family. His journey underscores the deep complexities of breaking generational cycles of pain and creating a legacy of love and security. In his transparency, Kirk has given voice to an often unspoken truth about parenting. The fear of repeating past mistakes can sometimes lead to new ones. By openly addressing his struggles and admitting his imperfections, Kirk reminds other parents that it's okay to stumble along the way. What matters most is the willingness to learn, grow, and prioritize the well-being of one's children.